Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a starburst effect in GIMP. So uh, what you're going to do is open up a new image, 700 by 700. And it just has to be square. It doesn't have to be exactly 700 by 700. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a new layer. And uh, this can be default. And you're going to go filters, distorts, blinds. You're going to use the following settings. Displacement 65, number segments 11, vertical. And it, uh, it has to be on the new layer selected. And uh, click OK. Alright. And you're just going to delete this background layer. And you're going to color the blinds whatever color you want. I'm actually going to do orange. So you just fill them all in. Yeah. I'll do that do that again Oops. all right so uh, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go filters distorts polar coordinates and the circle depth is at zero offset angle is at zero map from top doesn't really matter and to polar it doesn't really matter and Mac map backwards doesn't really matter all right and just click OK and there is your starburst effect. Now let's add a darker orange. In between all these. So let's add it. Undo that. Make a new layer. Below it, that everything. And fill it in. Alright. And there is your starburst effect. I guess you can put a logo in there. So I'll just do a quick logo. <clears throat> and do that. Make a new layer. Top of everything else. Stroke up. <clears throat> um, have your text. MGT. Sorry about that. Oh, and you can uh, select none. Sorry. <clears throat> and uh, just center it. And uh, choose whatever font you want. Uh, I'm going to uh, go with Sans Bold. And um, layer, uh, auto crop layer, and then uh, using the alignment tool, uh, center it. <coughs> All right, and um, there is your starburst effect. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching this tutorial.